He's remarkable last as they swing. Kimasabi, Mufasa whips up on the outside and takes over. Timekeeper after him. Baby Guinness and just an excuse to the outside. And then Green Supreme, Mufasa the leader. He's a length in front. Just an excuse is starting to come out and after him and hits the lead. Ocean Park right up on the inside and Zanadu flying. Ocean Park, Ocean Park back at four. Brilliant. Yes, that was uh, Ocean Park winning the McPhee International at Hastings on the weekend, uh, coming across to Melbourne very, very shortly for his next start. Craig Williams picking up the ride. This is Talking Through Your Kick uh, right around the TVN network and also on the Racing Network. And our uh, new uh, panellist has joined us to review what happened in Melbourne on the weekend, Nick Quinn. As I mentioned, nice suit, nice tie, the hair, snappy. what he's doing. Very snappy. I said he's trying to look like he's 11. <laughs> the only thing missing is a skateboard. Hello, Nick. Hello, Russ. How are you? And, uh, of course, Neil Evans <laughs> continuing to join us from <coughs> Luxbet.com, our new sponsors, along with puttersparadise.com.au. Rap or slap? I'm going to give a big rap to Rick or Lacey. I think he's a fantastic trainer. He's an eccentric character as well, but uh, Chase the Rainbow. <laughs> we saw this horse as a three-year-old chase home the likes of Helmet and Manawanui in the Caulfield Guineas. Hadn't been seen since. Returned on Saturday... Some bookmakers put up $2.50 Thursday afternoon. On Saturday, top flucked at $8, and in the run was the only horse you ever wanted to be on. $2.50 at $8, uh, mm. uh, or Lacey, probably is a line that you don't want to be on because Rick doesn't mind a flutter every so often. <laughs> Just ask him good questions. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, feature race on Saturday out of Caulfield was, of course, the Memsey Stakes. Uh, all aboard the Sincero train. Let's take you back a couple of days to the final stages of what was to be a pretty good form line for what uh, is a big spring, particularly for Sincero. Into the straight heart of dreams with Vala Ichi, who's running on and down the outside now. Happy Trails, Sincero and second effort peel to the outside. Happy Trails race to Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton, Happy Trails with Sincero joining in now. Sincero let down with a beautiful run inside the 100. Draws away and Sincero came clear to beat Happy Trails by two lengths. Second effort will grab third from... Mm. Uh, hard. Look, we've spoken about Piero, but that was a far more impressive return to racing than Piero because of the way he destroyed them in 100 metres. Well, Martin. the stables say that they've learned a lot. The, the, the horse is in a position where it can challenge for the, for, for the Cox Plate. Um, Green Moon's last 200, Nick, was astonishing. Top of Caulfield Cup betting from a Melbourne man, Sincero. Is it good enough to win a Cox Plate when you look at some of the big guns up the top? Well, on the back of that run, you'd have to say yes. Mm -hmm. I think last campaign had three starts in Melbourne, culminating with probably a disappointing performance in the Cox Plate. But as you touched on, they said they've learnt a lot from that experience. Just yep. he, he ducks in a little bit, ducks out a little bit. I'm not sure about whether he, whether Michael didn't know whether to hold the whip in the left or the right hand. He seemed like Sincero didn't know which side of his rump he was going to get slapped with. But just that last, it took a while to balance up. And that last 100 metres, to put... Mm. Two or three lengths on... I mean, you talk about Green Moon, and, yeah, it was a good run, but That's Green Moon... That's the red cap back on yeah, the way back. Green Moon's going to do his best and, and, and battle away. Since mm. Ciro has finished off better than Green Moon in that last 150 metres by a long, long, long way. The one I like is the one on the rail in the old South Melbourne jumper. The red and the white rekindled interest. Oh, uh, come on. Dwayne Dunn was very Not... easy on him. If you watch the mm. tape back, barely touched him. Everything's going nicely You're for the You're talking Cox about plate. a leader's track and the horse on the inside not doing anything. This no, he the... was back in the field and he was very easy on mm. him over the concluding stage. You watch rekindled interest and remember me Cox Plate Day. OK, well... But this... surely since you'd have Sincero in front of rekindled interest. Melbourne man agrees with the pair of you. Got the speed <laughs> map wrong but not the result. Sincero wins... Green Moon, the eye catcher, and rekindled interest will win next start, ridden hands and heels the entire race. My big problem call. is every time you see a big finish in a race like that and mm. you look for the... You know, we're trying to find the one that nobody else has found, but everyone in the world found Green Moon. And Yeah, yeah I, know, I know. Mate, let me take you back to the Green Moon before <laughs> the Lexus and everyone said, oh, four-wide Newcastle Cup, we're going to the yeah. Lexus, we'll just go to the front and win. I should have listened to Nick Williams a bit more. They said he wasn't fully wound up. I thought he'd be maybe two or three pairs further further up Green Moon but because he did win the Blamey Fresh. It was over a mile, so... Oh. Uh, but this a lot is, to come. This is Did I write that? Saturday, yeah, <laughs> this was Saturday Night Fair from uh, right, 10.35pm, apparently. We're not going to... Just, you're, just you're not to, today, to right? help you out, we're not right. going to put the time of your tweet. Captain Barwick, they you call him. Mate, there was something about Arsenal, I think. Yeah, no, a bit of Premier League, but I just was having a look <laughs> back at those races and I just, you know, convincing myself one more time, as they say. OK, Caulfield Cup market, let's go through it. Green Moon, $13, no for me. Nick? 
Uh, oh, well, it's going to be around the money. I mean, it was beaten a pimple last year and it's clearly come back in the outstanding order. So if someone liked Green Moon, I certainly wouldn't talk them out of a bet on him. Caulfield Cup's an Aussie race. Have a look at that market again. We'll keep that up just for a second or two longer. And you see the, the, the lack of imports. They're not coming down for the Caulfield Melbourne Cup double. I mean... Stepping stone. You yeah. Know, Red Cadeau thought. may or may not be. Jackalbury's mm. over here now. Mm. Uh, well, Mel well, the June Den, there's a chance it might run in. But if, yeah. it, if it runs and wins, it gets 65 kilos in yeah. the Melbourne Cup. It's not going to run in that. I'd be happy to take the Caulfield Cup cash and get back on the plane and yeah. go back to France, though, wouldn't you? <laughs> there's a big rap about this Mount Athos as well. But, you know, permit well, there. Yep. Polish Knight wins a, wins a For, AJ a second in an AJC derby. I Sorry, think, wins the AJC. Yeah, I think one wrong? punter with us is back to per, permit to win 70,000 in the Caulfield Cup at around mm. about the 50 to 1 mark. So uh, it might get into the race because it is a stepping stone more so for some of those big noted overseas horses. So. Um, don't dismiss permit. Of course, Especially Knight's for a country second cup source. in the derby behind the uh, horse train out of Melbourne, of Ethiopia? course. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, and that's not that's out for the spring? That's a, uh, Pat Carey's had a shocking run with his mm. really nice horses, so hopefully Paddy Carey's got another one coming along this campaign. Okay, uh, plenty to talk about out of Melbourne, uh, particularly the likes of Gold Archer, and we'll talk about that coming up and uh, what happened to Elite L. That's all to come on the show. Streets Away runs on, and Ebony Rock's right down the outside, coming to the 200 metres now, and it's Streets Away who's gone to the lead, Ebony Rock coming home, Streets Away from Ebony Rock, Cuban Sunday's coming home, Streets Away from Ebony Rock, and Cuban Sunday coming at them from Arby Ennis, Ebony Rock's hit the front in the middle, Cuban Sunday dives at him, Cuban Sunday beats Ebony Rock, and Streets Away, big tries he coming up.